An alternative way of handling this route change error is by displaying it in the UI. And we can do that by setting up, we'll just call this directive error. And then we'll pass in the, uh, the root scope here. Now, the only reason I can pass in that I'm allowing myself to do this, typically it's a code smell to pass in something like root scope into a directive. Uh, but in this case, we're going to be listening to an event that is an Angular event. So whatever module you use this in, it's still going to work. Uh, you can basically do a gut check and say, um, is this directive going to work if I pull it out and use it in another module? If it is, then it's probably okay to inject something like root scope. If it's not, uh, please reconsider uh, acting upon your directives instead of injecting uh, business into them. So moving right along, we'll just say this is an element. Um, we'll set up a template for it, which is just going to be a div with a class of, I think, alert box. Yeah, alert box is a nice foundation component. And then we'll just say error. Um, and then the last thing we'll just say ng show. And we'll only show this alert box if uh, is error is true. And basically, in our linking function, all we have to do. Uh, pass in the scope as you normally do. We'll grab this uh, root scope listener that we have down here, reuse the exact same code. And instead of just logging out the event, we will say scope is error is true. Uh, that's going to allow uh, this is error to map to uh, this is error over here. Then the last thing we have to do is just drop our new error component inside of our code here. Then once we refresh, you can see we get a nice alert box error at the top saying that something has happened. And you could add some sort of uh, something to your template as far as having them redirect somewhere else or um, using the, the location, which we haven't really talked about yet, or uh, display any anything from the error like the rejection message. Um, let's just prove that this won't show up if the app actually works. So you can see I refresh now. That component didn't show up because ng show is false. So basically, that's that's all it is. And just just to reiterate, uh, be very careful if you're going to use something like root scope inside of a directive. Uh, make sure it's using like an Angular event. Uh, so it's more of like a convenience component versus a component that's kind of uh, messing up any sort of root scope logic or, you know, dropping properties on the root scope, things like that. So that's that. We'll move on to uh, other routing events in the next video.